Oh. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Of course we attacked the smallest one too. Why didn't we do that to this guy? Welcome and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. We finally beat the monsters here at the Temple of the Elk and the mist is gone. And we are ready to head back to Oleg's to find out what we need to do next. This was a really tough area for us and I'm glad we were finally ready to move on. We're going to head out here and I'm going to try to make it back. That's right, we uh, met, or Tristian is back at the trading post, I think, and can now be part of our party, so we'll have to see what, what he brings. Our trip back here is a day. Let's just see if we can make it. I'm really glad you're here and hope you enjoy this game with me. It's been fun. I'm glad we're ready to move on from Oops, I don't I don't wanna camp. I didn't mean to do that. We're almost back here. There we go. Glad to have the Temple of the Elk behind us, hopefully. We'll find out what the, the next stumbling block for us is going to be. It is done. Leveling up, getting up to level 3 really helped us. Okay, there's Bakken and Oleg. Harem's there by the fire. I haven't talked to Harem for a while. Okay, Tristian's over here. Looks like he's talking to Jod. Let's talk how may I serve you? Found the Temple of the Elk, and we killed the beasts. Erast, you be praised. You finally returned, my good friend. Tristian told me how you helped him at the Temple of the Elk. Thank you for heeding my request. My heart is calm and filled with confidence that I've followed the will of my god. I would like to reward your bravery. I possess no treasure, but please... Take this as a token of appreciation. Scroll of Remove Blindness. 312 XP. As far as I know, your next target looks to be the Stag Lord himself. With the Temple of the Elk cleansed of evil, the fog surrounding us should disperse to reveal the path to the Brute's lair. Of course, magic so powerful is unlikely to disappear all at once. Bide your time. Follow up on other concerns while you wait. I will gladly aid you on your noble quest. Erastil himself foresaw our meeting. Does that mean he'll join our party now? So from this, it sounds like we're supposed to not head right after the Stag Lord, or maybe we won't be able to see him yet. We could take care of some side quests. I trust in their truth. These visions... They were the voice of a Rostil himself, quiet but clear. Before all this happened, I believed a Rostil had turned his back to me. But now I see clearly. He has shown me divine mercy, for he has led me to you and invited me to aid in a fellow priest's deliverance. Lady Serenray and a Rostil walk the paths of the gods hand in hand, and so must their servants as well. There's Tristian, another priest. I wonder if he's like a, a cleric or something. We have a lot of clerics and bards. Christian is undoubtedly still very young, and youth is a time of naivete and confusion. But I see kindness and strength of spirit in him, traits indispensable to a priest. I sense that all that's transpired thus far is only the beginning. And the future promises great things for Tristian and for you. This is why Arastil led me to the Temple of the Elk. 
Day and night I pray for you and for my young friend. May the stag god lead you down the true path. The stag god. Okay. There still is the stag god. We are in search of the stag lord. As you wish. I guess we didn't already talk to him about these things. You want to tell us more about yourself? What exactly would you like to know? Tell us about your past. My story? Why not? Glad you he's voiced. To know it. I am a priest of Arastil, and Galt is my homeland. You can imagine what it's like following the teachings of the stag god in a realm torn by discord and strife. Galt is a nation of free thinkers and radicals renowned for brilliant poets, artists, and philosophers whose ideas shaped the politics of the whole of Avistan. Galt was once a vassal nation of Cheliacs. After the death of Aroden and the rise of House Thrun in Cheliacs, the people of Galt decided to throw off their foreign rulers, along with their own nobles who had colluded with them. The executions did not end the bloodshed, and within five years, the severed heads of the ministers of the first government rolled down the steps of the guillotine. In the forty years since, over a dozen governments have ruled Galt, rising and falling like the waves of a stormy sea. Sounds brutal. Rebellion and suspicion are the pillars of Galt. Led by Erastil, I tried to guide my flock to embrace tranquility and balance and guard them from hasty judgment until I fell from grace myself. Foolish, foolish old Jod. My misdeeds cast a shadow over my life and service. In search of redemption and a balm for my soul, I took to the road. I had come nearly to despair when Erastil sent me a vision of the Temple of the Elk. I knew that very moment that the stag god had shown me the way to redemption. So how did you anger Erastil? Well, if you truly wish to know, I'll have to start from the long time back. Where okay. wolves preyed upon the lands around my village, they murdered people for fun or sport and left the corpses to rot on the roads. One night, they broke into a young woman's house and dragged her into the streets. One evening, a traveler came to our tavern, tattered and dirty from days on the road like so many others roaming Galt. He sat quietly in the corner of the tavern, drinking cheap ale, and in an instant, I knew he was a werewolf. I felt it in my soul. It was like Erastil himself had whispered it into my ear. I'm glad Amiri's being quiet while we're talking to him. <laughs> Led by Providence, I left to gather my flock, and we surrounded the tavern. The retribution, the retribution was swift. However, I was tragically mistaken. The young man was no werewolf. He was a bandit, sent to spy on the village by one of the local gangs. We only found out after, when we went through his things. Well, still, you saved the village. That's still no excuse for my actions. I was a fool. I made a grave mistake. And what's worse, in the eyes of my flock, I cast doubt on Erastil's greatness. A priest who can barely hear the voice of his god is a disgrace to his lord and himself, and corrupts the very people he would save. Whatever the case, I knew Erastil was no longer pleased with me. It was terrifying. Shad's voice wavers. Even now, one can glimpse inside him the remnants of the horror he lived through. Imagine how my mind raced when here in the stolen lands I heard the voice of the stag god once again. He gave me another chance at service to atone for my guilt. Now I have regained hope, and that very hope is my most precious possession. Tell us more about Galt. For some, it is a land of freedom, where power belongs to the people, not to lords or kings. For others, it's a land of never-ending revolution, a realm surrendered to anarchy. 
It depends on who you ask. For me, I found Galt a violent place. Crowds eager to lynch a stranger for that accent or appearance where a single word uttered at the wrong time or place can spark the people to riot and cities to burn. For me, it is a place inhabited by the frightened and the desperate, always suspicious, watchful of trickery. All too often they are deaf to the voice of reason. They cannot grasp that chaos and lawlessness lead only to yet more chaos and lawlessness. All my life I've tried to break through to these poor people, but alas, I don't seem to have made much progress. Okay, that's enough for As now. Maybe we'll talk again later. We have to wait until the fog clears away. John and Tristan recommend we wait until the fog clears, then we'll finally be ready to set off for the Stag Lord's Fortress. Okay, we've got 49 days left to do that. That feels good, I guess. Let's... Uh, I'm gonna speak to Tristian. Amiri's being loud again over here. Let's see if. He... I guess we can't look at his character sheet unless he is in our party. Let's talk. It's interesting that Jod's voiced, but. It seems like our compan other companions are not. Greetings, how may this humble chosen of the great Saren Ray help you? Tell me about yourself. About myself, I wouldn't know where to begin. You know my name, my faith, I follow Saren Ray, and I have traveled from the Padishah Empire of Kalesh to here. What else do you want to know? The vast Padishah Empire of Kalesh dominates much of south central Kazmaran. It grew during the Age of Destiny, and its line of emperors have, has been unbroken for thousands of years. Half a dozen satrapies, the size of countries, separate Kadira from the imperial heartland of Kalesh. Each satrapy pays homage to the decrees of the empire, but the grip of the empire is looser than the farther one goes from... The grip of the empire is looser the farther one goes from its heart. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I guess your manner and appearance don't strike us as Kelishite. You have nothing to apologize for. Truly, I have received my name and appearance from my parents who had come to Kelesh from afar. I never knew them, for the fate had separated us when I was young, so I grew up in Kalesh, raised by the followers of Saren Ray. My home is where my heart is. Uh, you could embroider that on something. Within the temples of the great goddess, among the wise and generous men that took upon themselves the care of a child that was so unlike them, I learned mercy and patience at an early age, and it is these virtues that have made me the man I am today. Do you enjoy traveling? Oh yes, no library and no archive, however large, would, ever, would have ever allowed me to learn as much of the world as I have in my journeys. It was only outside the temple walls I realized every living being is a world unto themselves, a world where many contradictions and passions coexist. Each realm leaves its mark on the lives that live there. Only by visiting it, by breathing the same air, walking on the same soil, can you understand its people, what drives them, what frightens them, their dreams, and how they honor their gods. Does being outside the temple make you uncomfortable? There are many ways to honor one's gods. It is true shrines play a role in the lives of many of the faithful, but even more find other ways to serve Saren Ray. The healing light values good deeds above all else. I cannot stand by and watch evil claim others. Perhaps that is another reason why I chose to go on my pilgrimage, leaving behind the temples of Kalesh. The healing light, known to her faithful as the dawn flower, the healing light and the ever light, Saren Ray, okay, is a goddess who teaches temperance 
and patience in all things. Compassion and peace are her greatest virtues, and if enemies of the faith can be redeemed, they should be. Worship of this goddess of healing, honesty, redemption, and the sun began far to the east of the inner sea, in the vast Padisha empire of Kalesh, but her worshippers can now be found throughout the world. My faith is in my heart and in my hands. Millions honor Saren Ray in her temples, and my soul is filled with joy when I think of their devotion to the goddess. Nevertheless, my path is a different one. Do you know where you're going next? No, my thoughts were far from it, for my mission here is not yet done. Why do you ask? Do you wish me to leave your lands? I don't think we know you, you well enough yet to say this. We don't feel awkward, though. Uh, didn't mean to alarm you. You enjoy watching others' reactions, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. In this regard, we are alike, although I do not choose such sly ways to achieve this. Okay. What What got him all... Just asking him where he was going next. I guess because maybe we're saying... Yeah. You're not staying here. You're going somewhere else. Okay. We'll talk to you again later. All right. So our journal is pretty light here now. We need to find Tartuccio. We went to... Nettles Crossing and David da Davik wants us to kill the Stag Lord, which is already on our list. This, we need to wait for the fog to clear. Amiri wants to find another monster, so maybe we're just going to be um, needing to head out and explore a bit. We can go back to the old Sycamore area. We didn't completely explore that whole area. We need to go upstairs and rest. I kind of wondered if we were going to have another dream. But maybe with the mist clearing. No stopping now. Although, no, it was uh, that Davik. It was causing our dreams, right? Okay, um, I suppose we should check our inventory. What was this broken arrow? We found oh, found that in the old sycamore. Um, well, I think we kind of took care of selling stuff when we were here before. Let's just check our loadouts. Got plenty of potions. We sort these by like there. That's better. Any scrolls we want to have handy? Um, I guess maybe having a remove fear on us isn't a bad idea. I guess we need to check. I wish I could look at Tristian. There's no way to see him. Oh, can we see? Oh, here we go. Tristian. Level three, neutral good. Ecclesiotheurge. Divine Caster, eschewing physical armor for protection via the strength of his faith, an Ecclesiotherge focuses on the miracles of his deity, focus on the miracles his deity bestows, and the breadth of that deity's dominion. And he's got a scimitar. Um... Uh, Pillar of Support. Ever Saren Ray's loyal servant, Tristian arrived in the Stolen Lands with a difficult task. Learn why all manner of curses seem to flourish here. 
While the answer remains uncertain, this merciful and sympathetic cleric helps his companions with his prayers, spells, and guidance. I was kind of hoping for something besides another cleric. We've got Harem, who I, I like. I think, <laughs> I, I think eventually we will like him. I like his character. Um, yeah, he's gonna have real similar abilities. Harem is chaotic, neutral. And Tristian is neutral, good. Kind of like the chaos. And I don't think we want to replace Lindsay. I mean, of anyone, I could, we could replace Lindsay or maybe Octavia. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm not too excited about Tristian. Let's head out here. Oh, I didn't finish. Just gonna check. I think some people need like, yeah, Amiri needs a couple of potions on her. Maybe a fire flask could come in handy. Uh, Lindsay, have another cure scroll, Harim, uh, got several of these vanish potions, I guess those could be good if somebody gets low and needs to escape. Let's just give you another heal scroll okay Regengar another heal potion we've got some gold I guess we could look at possibly upgraded weapons but I, I think those are probably more than we want to spend They're like 2,400, 8,300 flaming light crossbow plus one. I don't feel like spending that much gold right now. Onwards. Okay. Time to set out into the big wide world. If we don't see something new here that we want to check out, I think we're going to go back to Old Sycamore. We have the Endless Plains we haven't been to. This Boggard Hunting Grounds we haven't been to. We found a troll over here at the Old Oak. I guess we could check that out again. We have this Pine Patch. Let's head back to Old Sycamore and then maybe... Depending on what happens here, eventually maybe we can check Pine Patch out. Let's see what this trip is like. Half a day. Enter. There was that shambling mound that was like the, the elf that had been sort of I don't know if she'd been kind of like brought back to life or it was sort of a creation of the woman that we found dead there holding the leash we never kind of went further north past this point
Let's see what else we find here. Got an elk, a couple elk. Okay, that's an exit into the world map. We've got a body on the ground. Lore nature. Okay. Forget it. Uh. Those lore checks. Leave those. We've got another body. Got a that looked like a trap or something. I guess it's just a rock. Couple more bodies. Dueling sword. Some hide armor. I'm not gonna pick those up. We'll pick up potions. We might want this sword. That could be worth something. Got a whole campsite here. There are enough supplies to encamp once. Oh, we could actually camp here. Uh. Done and done. We have a scabbard and a silver chain, some eggs, gold. Wonder what happened to these people. Short bow. Okay, well, we'll remember we can come back here and camp if we need to without using our supplies. Can we walk up there? Oh. What about this? Okay, that, that way was blocked. So we're, are we up at the top corner? Okay, we are. Follow me. Let's see, have we saved it? One thing I wanted to do, I re look at this. I think we want something more. Like so. I don't know. He needs to be able to get in there. So maybe we're more like something like this. He needs to be able to get like around to the side to hit the burning hands. Let's do that. No stopping now. Gonna run in, into anything up here. Onwards. Okay, we've got just some thylacines, looks like. A thylacine. Time for fun. Mm. Okay, we got a few. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why is she glowing? Oh, she's still got acrobatics on. Remember to take that off. Um, just throw some frost. Yeah, okay, Mary, I need to turn this off. Nice. She literally tore them apart. Okay, Harim. Um, gosh, I feel like I never quite know what to do with him. We want to switch to ranged. Can bless. 
don't really want him just rushing in there either. Switch over to the crossbow. Repent. Gotta wait for them to come to us a bit. I haven't examined ahead. Like, I wonder if there are any are there any good AOE attacks that that she's got, <laughs> like for this type of situation. Thinking like a whirlwind kind of ability. Okay, well Octavia. I wish this fist was a AOE. Oh, no, that one's still back there. Well, let's just take a shot at this one. Okay. And Lindsay. How about some grease? Grease these three up. <laughs> he just walked right into that pool of grease and fell on the ground. Okay, Rigongar. You can move up here and take on this one. It's touch of fatigue. Um, is that unlimited uses? Yeah, it's a level zero. Okay. So is there any downside to using that? Okay, Deo. Uh, you could probably get three of them with some fire. You get. Yeah. Cool. All right, Amiri. Let's see, that one's laying on the ground, so let's. Get one of these taken care of. All right, Haram. So now this is where, like, I want him to switch back. Can you still attack? Your life ebbs. I guess so. Okay. That looks worse than it actually is. <laughs> Three damage, four damage. Lots of blood splattering. Okay, Octavia. Let's finish off one of these. Like maybe this, this one. Is for you. Oh right, that one fell down. Okay, Lindsay here. Serves you right. Ah. Rigongar, you got this one? Alright, maybe some acid. Uh, finish off this one. Amiri. You can get in there without walking what on the grease. Waste. Oh, you can't. <laughs> he fell on his face. 
He literally slipped and fell on his face. But she got him on the attack of opportunity. That's nice. Fall down, fall down. Okay, are you gonna fall in the grease? Do you get in here? Yes. <laughs> he fell on his face. <laughs> okay. Um. Acid. No. Amiri. Bring it. Okay. There we go. You guys gonna get back up? Yeah. Come on. Gonna get some skins. Okay. That's taken care of. <laughs> Let's look at where we are. Okay, we just fed it up in this little area. Let's form back up here. So that's it for this corner. Oh, there we go. Alchemist fire and wand of ear piercing scream. That's nice. Oh, we got some mites, with some traps. Oh, what? There's a giant centipede right there. Tear them apart! <laughs> no, there's not. Are we fighting the mites now, or what? We got another centipede somewhere. Is it like cloaked? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, we, now we got another one? You I can't tell if that's a glitch or they're like, maybe they're coming up out of the ground. What's happening? Did she miss? Oh, we have a perception check to even, to see them. What are you doing? I can't, I can't do anything. We delay. Okay. Are we... Huh. I think we're glitched. I can't do anything with the... Octavia's turn. Does that mean there's like three enemies that need to... Oh, that's round three. Can we go disarm this trap? No, we can't. I don't know what's happening. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay, Amiri. Let's finish off. Maybe this one. Yeah. Octavia, let's try the fist. Cool. 
Oh, we got another one over there. Oh, we got a dexterity reduction debuff. I don't like having this one back there. Thanks, Regongar. Become as dust. Lindsay. Get one of these. She never hits with her crossbow. He never hits with his frost. He did once. I know at least one time he did. Ouch, I don't want to keep getting these dexterity reductions. We got another one showing up. It's not <laughs> affliction. We need the Restoration spell Consider me provoked. for the dexterity. Fear me. <laughs> Repent. This is where I step in. He hit with the acid. Okay. All right. So now we have a couple of issues here. I'm listening. Do we have anything for that? Potion of restoration. Yeah. Use that. There we go. Amiri, why don't you just use a potion while we're in here? Save it, and then we need somebody to deal with this trap. Octavia or Lindsay, I don't remember. Octavia. I did as you asked. You did indeed. Now we had some mites running away from us. We got another trap. Two more traps. Let's get everybody back away from these. <laughs> you can count on me. And send her in here to disarm these. I did as you asked. Uh, no, I'm embarrassed. Done and done. Okay, I didn't know if it would let her try that again. I guess it did. No stopping now. So we can't go up there. Look at things. We're still kind of in the middle. And we're just kind of up from where. Okay, here's where we went up. That shambling mound creature. We have not been down below over this way. We've got a path leading up. We have something down here. Let's go get that. I did as you asked. Something down here. Another token of the dryad. Ready okay, Octavia, willing. let's see what else is down here. Climb the hill. Is that just to get up here? Or climb down? Oh, it's probably climb down. I don't think we want it to go down there. We've got, looks like a, a cave over here. 
Maybe we will go down there. The inter intertwined roots of the huge tree cover what might be an entrance to the dungeons. The dungeons? What dungeons? Okay. No stopping now. Doesn't appear to be that we're going anywhere. Could someone get up there? Oh. Oh, we got an amulet, a necklace, scabbard, pearl. Let's look at what that amulet was. Was that something we can use? Amulet of natural armor plus one. Grants is where plus one natural armor enhancement bonus to armor class. Bonus does not stack with other natural armor. Okay. Well, do we give that to her or like Haram or Ragongar? I mean, she's usually the one getting hit. So give it to her for now. That gives her 18. Okay. So I guess let's go check out down below. We have to walk clear back here, I guess. See what these wolves are up to down here. Give it a quick save always before we head into possible altercation. March on. What for Gorm? These wolves should be like nothing after those primal. Is it, were they primal dire wolves? I, I know it's primal dire. Four. The Mary, why don't you charge in here? Ugh. Okay, we're going guard. Go ahead. And I don't know if if his shield is the. Plus four shield bonus to AC, is that different from just a plus four armor bonus? I'm not sure of the difference. So it negates magic missile attacks directed at you. Seems rather specific. Let's have him put this on, just in case. Okay, and Lindsay, you can just, I don't know, I guess we could grease them up. That worked pretty well last time. Yes. We got two of them down. Oh, it was attacking Amiria, it was just the animation was the wrong direction. Uh. Try some frost. Got to hit eventually. This is for you. Sometimes she gets some good sneak attacks in. Okay, here in. Oh, just come up here. And let's put resistance on Amiri. Bring it. Oh. She's whiffing. Okay, Regangar. You're probably gonna fall on that grease. 
Guess we can switch over to the bow. I'll cut you. Is that, where's the one? That's the one that's low. Lindsay hit with the crossbow. Let's see if we can hit with the frost again. Nope. Okay, Octavia. Let's finish off this one. I'll fight if I have to. Your life ebbs low. Ooh, everybody's just whiffing. Tear them apart! There's a hit. Might as well use that touch of fatigue. There we go, Lindsay. Good job. I, don't, I feel like the acid is a little bit more regular than the frost. At least got one on that. Ow. <laughs> like his his voicing. Ow. Front line here are not hitting very well. Any last wishes? Lots of misses. There's a hit. Become as dust. Die for me. Oh, he's still got the bow on. <laughs> and he's tripped now. This is where I step in. I gotta remember we have that camp we can go back to over there. This is for you. <laughs> oh, this is painstaking. Green pent. Come on. Bring it. There we go. Collect some skins. Yeah, so we could climb that hill that we were up above earlier. Okay, everybody doing okay? No major issues. I see something. Done with waiting. I need a challenge. Well, Amiri. We'll probably find a challenge event eventually. Probably no sooner that. rather than later. Oh, we got some more wolves. Let's look at where we are. We were almost... We've about explored the map other than this little portion. Let's see if we can take care of these wolves without a big... Ordeal. We're probably going to be camping, so I guess we don't need to 
worry too much about conserving our resources. I like him having this extra armor on because he's he doesn't have a lot of health. Go ahead and put this on. You still got the bow on. Let's switch back. I guess you're kind of done now. Lindsay, let's inspire. Octavia, why don't you get up here and do a color spray on this group? Just got one of them knocked down. Arim. I guess we won't get your summon out. Amiri could do a little raging. Tear them apart. Yeah. <laughs> you could come off this direction with the burning hands. Is that safe? Looks like it. Okay, Ragongar. Whoops, that wasn't the one I meant to go after. Oh. Now he's going to be in the way over here. Lindsay, uh, just attack. Oh, nice shot. Octavia, why don't you flare this one? Harim, you could finish off this one that's laying there. And then Amiri, just gonna finish off this one. Yeah. That was pretty handy. Collect some skins. Follow me. What is this? Got something in a log over here. Oh, some agate, citrine, and quartz. Oh, we got something here. Garrett, crap. Rarick. Some more wolves. Looks like we can talk. It is done. Oh. The beast before you is unusually large and its eyes especially angry. Its menacing grin might almost be taken for a smirk. Greetings, traveler. Before you draw your weapon, I wish to say I see no reason for feuding between us. We might even be of some use to each other. Wait, why is this wolf talking? Is it magical or something? I am no wolf, female. I am a rorg. Surprising you could live to your, your age without learning the difference. Well, it's never too late to teach a lesson to an insolent two-legged morsel. The beast slowly licks its teeth. Who are you calling a morsel, you pelt? Amiri glares at the beast, her hand on her sword. <laughs> I have to go. Uh, you say we could be useful to each other? Bring me some, bring me someone delicious. Three or four bodies will be enough, and I, as a sign of gratitude, will tell you where an old traveler buried his chest. <laughs> an old traveler, you say? A very old, lean, and flavorless traveler. I don't, we don't need to bring you any 
bodies. If you're hungry, you ought to be able to find some food. Well, as you wish, but consider my offer. You may yet think of something. Who are you? You may call me Grarik. I've lived here far longer than the rulers of those foolish tribes. I've, there were some bodies over at the campground. <laughs> I have seen much and eaten many. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll see if we can find some bodies. Can we just no go now. take a look back here? Got some things to sell and some gold. Okay. March on. Well, there were three bodies back at, at the camp. Got an exit here. So other than then, this little spot here below us. Overgrown passage, okay. Oh, I don't like surprises. Oh, hurry him, you you don't mind. Okay, let's see if we can get through here. Okay, we're in this little spot with some traps. So Octavia, take care of that. I did as you asked. Well, we've got somebody, a oh, bandit, laying on the ground over here. Done and done. Okay, just for the sake of clearing out everything, let's get rid of this fog and then head back here. Like we got it, maybe a couple of bandits. More potential bodies. Are they dead? Or sleeping? I think they're sleeping. <laughs> no stopping now. What you want? This feels a little bit wrong but we're gonna do it oh gosh. that is ridiculous of course we attack the smallest one too why didn't we do that to this guy. I'll fight if I have to. Um, let's inspire. And how about some enfeeblement on this dude? Then Ragongar. See, well, let's let's go ahead and shield up. And Harim. Yeah, let's let's. Can we get your summon out? Oh, we can't. How about some bone shaking? get the necromancer. Well, I wonder if it'll have more resistance. Let's just, let's get this bandit. Ooh. Looks like that would hurt. Okay, Octavia. Actually got a humanoid we can attempt to daze. Good. Lindsay, we put put them all to sleep. Uh, 
or none of them, whichever the case may be. Okay, Amiri, let's take care of this necromancer. Can we get in here with some fire. Get two of them, I guess. It's nice to feel like we can actually do some damage to enemies. What are they? Level twos. Okay. Ragangar, how about getting in here and taking care of this one? That's good. And then Harim, so he's got a charge too. We could. That guy's dazed. They're probably gonna attack Amiri. Let's just let's run in there. Oh. That wasn't very impressive, Harim. Oh. Everybody's frightened now. Oh, yeah, that. So, those remove fear scrolls that we had sitting around could actually be useful. Oh, yeah, we're down to just two. Uh, let's work on this necromancer about the snowball. Okay, Lindsay, is it, where's Amiri? Is she frightened? Yeah. Oh, this is the AOE. May I suggest another way to use this spell? Sen uh, there we go. Did it not work? Lindsay used the item scroll of remove fear. Oh, it's just a, a buff against it. So there's, what? She's frightened, but not running away. Huh. Maybe that scroll kept us from fleeing. Uh, could use Jolt on him. Let's just back up a bit. Me. There we go. Guess that doesn't remove the frightened. Become as dust. Everybody seems to be doing okay though. So maybe that scroll helped. has got some must have some uh, did it work kind of looks that way 
Human, ça. Looks like it should be dead, but it's not. So it must have some kind of resist death ability. There we go. Okay, so can we use these bodies? Pick up this stuff. We have three three bodies and a rib cage. Some leather armor. What's in here? Milk. Got a bunch of stuff. Oh, that was like some armor bracers. Okay, so maybe we should go back and talk to those wargs. Oh. Oof. That was a mistake. Here I am, you're fine. <laughs> Heal everybody a bit. Okay, let's let's not get too carried away here. So where we can climb I saw some Oh, this is I'm assuming we don't have to carry the bodies back to them. We just tell them where they are. Oh, maybe we have to actually accept. Okay. Well... Oh, send someone to the warg for lunch. So we can't just give him those bodies. We have to send him a live person. This is done. That sounds a little more complicated. We send him the shambling mound. We've pretty much explored everywhere here. Follow me. Let's see if we can get through this passage. Let's just go. I just want to check. I've done your request. Those bodies now. No stopping now. So we should have accepted the quest before we killed them. Yeah. Okay, um, I think the only thing left here is that shambling mound. I don't remember any other people. A couple entrances to the mine and dungeons, but it doesn't look like we can actually enter them. Let's head back to that camp up here. I don't know if we're going to send anybody. I guess we'll see if we meet someone that we feel like sending to the works. Maybe we'll meet someone in another area and we can tell them to go check out the wargs at the old sycamore. We're going to use your camp. Oh. 
And what do we have here? Your fear tastes so delicious. Viscount Smolderburn? We could send him to the warg. Viscount Smolderburn? Every chapter... That's... Every trapper and bog farmer living near marshes or swamps has his own name for these faintly glowing balls of light. Jack of, Jack of the lanterns, corpse candles, walking fires, pine lights, spook lights, rush lights, but all recognize them as dangerous predators and false guides in the darkness. Evil creatures that feed on the strong psychic emanations of terrified creatures, will-o'-wisps delight in tempting gullible travelers into dangerous situations. In the wild lands where they're most common, will-o'-wisps favor simple tactics like positioning themselves over cliffs or quicksand where they can easily be mistaken for lanterns especially if they can set their traps near actual signal lanterns allowing them to lure unwary travelers into perilous situations on rare occasions will-o'-wisps seeking easier pickings will move into a city and take up residence near gallows or follow along invisibly behind an army in order to harvest the fear of the dying men why the vast majority choose to remain in the swamps, where victims are scarce, remains a mystery. Will-o'-wisps only use their electric shock ability under extreme duress, preferring to let other creatures or hazards claim their victims while they float nearby and feast. Will-o'-wisps can glow any color they choose, but are most frequently yellow, white, green, or blue. They can even vary their luminosity to create patterns. Many will-o'-wisps are fond of creating vague skull-like shapes in their glow to further terrify their victims. Their actual bodies are barely visible globs, globes of translucent, spongy material one foot across and weighing three pounds, capable of emitting light from every surface. A will-o'-wisp's light is approximately as bright as a torch, and though they do not seem to use sound to communicate with each other, they hear perfectly and can vibrate their bodies rapidly to simulate speech, while vilified by most other sentient creatures, will-o'-wisps are actually quite intelligent, if utterly alien in their reasoning. Sometimes organized into groups called strings, their society and goals remain complete unknowns to outsiders, as do their origins. Though they have sometimes been known to strike bargains with those who can offer them vast quantities of appropriately frightened victims. As will-o'-wisps do not age and are effectively immortal unless killed by violence, particularly Ancient will-o'-wisps can serve as fantastic repositories of knowledge from the ancient past. Although convincing one of these cruel creatures to cooperate with an interrogation can be a trick in and of itself. Alright. Well, Viscount Smolderburn. Guess we'll see what you can do. Acid gonna do anything to you? About a telekinetic fist. So we won't know if we don't hit with it. Hiram. I guess you can get in here. Lindsay, she's shaking. She didn't like waking up to this floating skull. Um, let's put some inspiration on courage, maybe. Seems like that could be helpful here. Tear them apart! Anybody gonna be able to hit this thing? Oh, I didn't. Uh, that was a misclick. I wanted to put it on herself. Oh, now everybody's scared. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> so 
So Lindsay's good, and we unfortunately we used her remove fear scroll. Forgot to equip another one. I don't think she has anything else to help. Um. I don't know, I guess we could try the scream. It's immune. Oh, Mary is good, I guess. She's just shaking. They go down! Can we even hit this thing with anything? I tried using this once and it didn't seem to work. This wand of lead blades. Uh, Octavia is back with us. Um, I don't know if anything's gonna work on this. Oh, she got scared again. <laughs> we shouldn't have tried to get close. Here I am. Man, should have equipped, equipped more of those scrolls. How about your summon? Get your wolf in there. We haven't even done anything to this yet. <laughs> to even see it, it's got like 20 HP or 70. Can we regroup over here, people? Heal ourself. Oh, does that treat affliction? Does that work against fear? Diseased or poisoned character. <laughs> he does not want to get any closer than that. Lindsay, I guess. Try your crossbow. <laughs> Any last wishes? Mary, you're not wanting to rush in there either. Swap to your bow. <laughs> Nobody's hit it once. Regongar is the only one that's not terrified. Does he have... It's, we tried to put this on ourselves and misclicked.
I guess we just stay at ranged and try to eventually hit it with something. You can't stop me. <sighs> like her arrow just bounced off it. Your life ebbs low. This is where I step in. <laughs> Bring it. We have not hit this thing once. The weak suffer. I endure. I kind of wanted to get closer with him to try some fire. See if we can get there next time. It's like everybody's managing a little bit better. Try the snowball. Gongar is going to be going down. We don't get him some healing. Harim, get in here. Lindsay's still frightened. Serves you right. I don't think we're getting anywhere with this. Tear them apart! Let's use another one. So maybe we shouldn't have camped there. <laughs> I don't see this going anywhere. Can't even damage it. It's our save. Right before we camped, load this one. I think we're gonna call it there. We will have to find a different place to camp, maybe. Uh, didn't seem like we could do anything to that will-o'-wisp. We'll uh, look at that next time. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.